What's good everybody and welcome back to my channel, Smoking and Grilling with me, AB. Now look, I know you done read that title and you know what time of the year it is, right? Look, all these NFL teams, they jockeying for them playoffs, right? So listen, I got the appetizer for you. Today, I'm getting ready to show you guys just how easy it is to make. Listen, this is just some barbecue Korean chicken wings. Super easy. They way over the top on flavor. I'm not gonna over talk it, so let's get it. As you can see, not a whole lot of ingredients, right? And as always, listen, the whole ingredient list will be down in the description box below. In the beginning, when I said in the intro, look, what I said was I left something out. I left out the spicy part, right? Listen, what makes it spicy is that's the sriracha right here. You can use sriracha, and then for those of you guys that really want to have some kick, you can go ahead and add, you know, a little bit of that, uh, some red chili flakes to this, right? And if you don't have, check this out, if you don't have sriracha, you can just go ahead and use red chili flakes too. But anyway, this is a spicy Korean barbecue chicken, you know, wing recipe. Hey, with that being said, look, I'm finna go ahead and get right into this. So I got my flour, I'll just set this inside just like that, right? Look, we got wings, got a lot of flats. This is it right here. Don't forget, it's football season. Everybody jockeying to get in, you know, to uh, make the playoffs, right? So listen, everybody having company. We've been locked up, but now what we trying to do is we trying to, you know, have some fun, have some people over and all of that. So now I'm gonna take my olive oil, real simple. We just gonna add this on here. And one thing that I don't know if I said already, listen, you gotta pat your wings dry, right? I'm gonna take my hand here, cause I got unlimited gloves, right? We just gonna get these mixed and we're gonna get these nice and coated. Go ahead and preheat your oven. I got mine already up to 400 degrees. So now we're gonna add some salt. Look, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a, just a couple of pinches. You know what I mean? We're gonna start there. Now to do it. And then now when it comes to the black pepper, I always tell everybody, listen, you can't put enough. I don't care how little it is. Listen, when you put heat onto this uh, black pepper, look, the taste change. This right here, some of you guys are cooking and don't know why it tastes so good, it be the pepper. It tastes different. It ain't like it when you put it on the salad. But that right there, that's what I like to see. I just tasted it, it tastes perfect. Let me go ahead and grab some of my wings. I just put them in just like this. When these are nice and wet, it helps that flour stick to it. If you guys been watching me when I make chicken and I use flour or something like that, look, I like to squeeze them. And then look, if you just take them and tap them against the bowl, any of that excess you know fall off just the easy part right well it's all easy folks so we already have 400 degrees i'm gonna put these inside put them in there just like that and we're gonna set a timer for 25 minutes right then we're gonna flip them over and go another 20 minutes then i'm gonna raise the temperature up we're gonna go to 500 because we want to broil right then we're gonna take a look at them and then we're gonna make sure they don't, they don't burn. Hey, super easy, folks. Let's get it. Now is the time for me to go ahead and make my sauce, right? Everything that is left, look, it's gonna be a dump and go. So we just pour it in here in no particular order, right? Sriracha. Give it a little stir. And now for the part that I like, right? We're gonna go ahead and mince this garlic. There we go. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and get my whisk. You know, mix this all up together. Let the heat do the work. Then we wanna bring this up to like a little, like a little bit of a rolling boil, right? So I'm probably like at medium right now. That's good. We're just gonna let this go ahead and work. And then when that's done, we're gonna get our slurry, right? And then when we get our slurry, you know, everybody knows that's the thickening agent. So you see that right there? Listen, the aromatic that's coming off of that is fire, folks. That right here give you an idea of what your wings gonna taste like. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and take my cornstarch, mix my cold water with this, get my slurry, we gonna add that, and then we gonna whisk to get it thick. You guys can take a look. Look, you just wanna get it nice and thick, right? So it's equal parts. Cold water and cornstarch, right? So we just add that. Put that over there and get my whisk. This right here, this is the agent. You know, so you can see it right now. Look at that right there. You can see it's already real nice. You see the thickness? Can you see it, folks? It's starting to thicken up. We just keep it going. And I think our wings are about ready to come out. Look at that right there, folks. That right there is right. Now we're going to get ready to get them sauced up. You 
You want to do these while they hot, right? We'll just take them, get these to come off. Hey, by me pulling them off right here, I can tell you I skipped a step. It to be a good practice for you guys to spray this with some non-stick cooking on. Hey, so look, I know your mouth is watering. I know you didn't seen that slow-mo, you know, with that music, I got it. So check it out. Now we're gonna do a little plating. You know, we're just gonna go ahead and put this here. Now you can look at this plate right here. I want you guys to start thinking like this too. So when you think about the white plate, right? We got the dark brown, right? Everything is all sauced up, right? Then we hit it with the green. Somebody say it with me. Watch out now. What's that? One, two, three, four, five, six. And cause I like y'all, check it out. I'm gonna go ahead and serve you, you know, a seven piece. We just call this a six piece with a bonus. Now, remember the green onion? If I wanted to be fancy, I'm gonna start doing videos like that too. I'm gonna show you. Listen, I got tweezers. I can strategically place these, you know, for the photo. But I'm gonna get down the way you guys gonna get down and the way I normally get down. We'll just start adding a few, you know, just like this. You know what I mean? Add some around it. You know, this is a little bit of that, uh, presentation 101 and then I want you to notice I put them around the plate too should have cut some of the white because I like the white and then just for good measure I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna hit this right here because I like to see the black pepper and we're just gonna put a little black pepper because I like when it get on the plate too look again look we leveling up our presentation and then for those of you guys that want to do the sesame seeds check it out we got them too now I can put these in a dry pan you know, and brown them to do that, but I'm gonna go ahead and use them raw because I like to see just a little bit of that color on there too. Hey, somebody get in contact with Gordon and tell him like, hey, he not the only one that can make them fire recipes. Hey, I know one of y'all gonna do it too. So tell him, hey, holler at your boy. There it is. You guys get to see it. Look, I got one of them happy boy smiles on my face right now. You know why? Because I'm about to dig in. Hey, they done cooled enough. They nice and sticky. You see that right there? I'll let you guys get it real close. Ah, uh, yeah. Hey, but before I start drooling on myself, cheers, y'all. Mm. This is for good measure. Truly, it ain't fair, folks. I don't know how many times I'm gonna say this ain't fair. You know what I mean? Hey, for me to eat these or anything that I cook on this channel, hey, I just wanna say I love my job. Hey, with that being said, listen, taste these, come back, let me know down in the comment section below. You know, tell me what you guys think about this. Listen, did you gotta have your wet naps? I promise you, you do. And then I got this right here. Look, none of these go to waste right here. All this green onion top, you know what I mean? We grow them. And you know what? I'm gonna start a series on my channel. We're gonna talk about growing, you know, like our herbs. I know it's winter time, but there's some things that you can get. You know what I mean? So we can have that, you know, put a little time in the kitchen and a family fun projects too. Hey, with that being said, don't forget, if you like this um, cutting board right here, listen, I'll leave a link. It's gonna be down in the comment section below and it'll be in the description box, right? It'll be pinned in the number one comment. With that being said, now we are gonna wrap this up. Cause listen, I can hardly talk right now because my mouth is just salivating. I'm smelling this right here and I got to eat it, folks. Now, listen, if you're new to my channel, let me just take this time to say, hey, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the like, smash that subscribe button, and I want you guys to tell everybody out there, right? Listen, it's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. But this time when I walk off this set right here, I'm finna say peace, but guess what's going with me, folks? These. I'm out. Peace.